Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Aries, this is from the 14th to the 20th of October and on popular demand, we're bringing back that old format of one card uh, for each day and then clarify them of course by, uh, because some of you have said that it gives you the focus for the day. So let's go back to that. Spirit tell me for Monday. The Fool, brand new beginning, Ten of Cups, wonderful, Five of Wands, Ace of Cups, Chariot, oh, nice week ahead, uh, Aries, King of Pentacles, and Sunday, Queen of Pentacles, so money looks really, really good. Well, there are some major changes going to th that may happen as well, but they're all for the good. From what I'm feeling, from what I'm feeling, uh, Monday you are feeling really footloose and fancy free and not a care in the world. Uh, on Tuesday I do see you feel get, getting together with family and bonding and feeling good about things. On Wednesday I do see a lot of people around you who could be helping you or you know providing for you or you know supporting you. It's going to make you feel emotionally very happy. Thursday I have the Ace of Cups and then the Chariot. Uh, I have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So money-wise, you're looking very, very stable. I do feel emotionally also because the Ten of Cups is here with the Ace of Cups. It's going to be a great week, Aries. Let's see. Spirit, tell me what's the Fool card for Monday. Let's focus on one day first. What's happening on Monday? Why is the Fool card here? Yes, I think, I think you're tired and you've done a lot of work and you just want to take it easy on Monday. It's like, yeah, I want to give myself the day off. Who says that you, you have to work every Monday of, the, of your life? Even though Monday is the first day of work, I think, Aries, you're going to be feeling free as a bird. Yeah, I've already finished all my work on the weekend, uh, Omkara Taro. I've totally balanced out whatever I had to do. And now Monday, I'm just going to relax and take it easy or do something fun and exciting for myself. Uh, you're feeling good. Nine of Cups. I mean, Nine of Cups is a card where you're jumping with joy and saying everything is good, everything is fine. I'm, I've made, I'm making or have made all my wishes and dreams come true. And because of this attitude of positivity, Aries, I see you going from the Nine of Cups right to the Ten of Cups the next day. So it's going to almost like Aries, your, your excitement or happiness is going to. Um, overflow maybe into your family members or your friends and you're getting the, everybody activated to feel good about themselves and you ten of cups spirit on tuesday what's the ten of cups ten of cups is clarified by the three of cups so you will be on tuesday you will have a very good emotional day maybe with your friends and family and maybe go out and maybe celebrate or do something fun which is more emotion based it's not like work but this is more like you know what we should just maybe play a board game together or let's go out and you know have a picnic or something but this is like a very happy time on uh, wednesday spirit five of wands what's the five of wands here what's the five of wands yeah you've whatever you have invested in I now see that you've already come to a certain level and now other people are going to start coming and wanting maybe to collaborate with you. Uh, maybe you will take some time out to figure this out. Like I said, hanged man, yeah, you may take the offers, you may not, but uh, you will you will get support from others, which I don't know, Aries, you may just say, okay, I'll think about it. I've already reached this level of success for myself. I'm not sure whether I want to collaborate. I'll let you know. Give me some time. But I do see other people around you very excited to be part of your bandwagon now. Uh, Thursday, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yep, you have the world in your hands. I mean, look at these two cards, right? This is like feeling emotionally very very happy and even this looks like this person is holding almost a whole world with a heart in it and then, then next to it you get the world card so it's going to be a good week where you can take it easy Aries this is not going to be the week where Aries is going push 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 I'm working 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 I don't have time to take a shower because I have to finish this that and the other I think this is going to be a week of emotional satisfaction and emotional happiness some of you could be even traveling from what I feel. 
what's what's the chariot spirit? Chariot, but even if you are traveling, it's traveling for relaxation. I don't see it as a work related thing or you're charging forward and um, you know trying to accomplish some goal or anything like that it's more like yeah i need to take it easy because your money is looking good aries ten of pentacles ten of pentacles king of pentacles queen of pentacles so you know yeah money does uh, you know give you room to start enjoying life i guess what's what's the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles spirit for the weekend What's the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles? Okay, so all your hard work is go is paying off. Like you're going to be getting some news, maybe news that you were waiting for. Maybe there's some news that you were waiting for and that news is going to come in, I think, at the late latter half of this uh, week, which is going to put you on very, very stable ground. Uh, you will have enough, not just for yourself, but also for your family because I, I can see them all clapping for you. No wonder you'll be celebrating. I have a feeling this is something that you were expecting, but the way it is going to come to you is almost going to seem sudden to most people. You've been working towards a goal, but when it comes, it still feels like, oh, really, it's happened for me kind of a thing. Yeah, I think this is a week where you'll be in total gratitude and giving yourself a lot of self-care, enjoying the finer things of life and feeling that finally, you know, I can leave my troubles behind and move on to peace and happiness in my life. It's a relaxed week. In fact, I'll be honest with you, uh, before I did this reading, I did your reading before and I did it in that other format where we were taking out money and love and and I finished that reading and then I was going through some of the comments in the on the channel and a lot of you had requested no we want the day day by day reading and I was saying oh I've already done Aries reading now what do I do? Should I redo it or post both or whatever even in that in fact if you want put it down in the comments i'll post that for you as well even in that almost a similar message was there that aries this upcoming week is going to see you feeling very relaxed there is not that push and pull and i have to run here and run there it's going to be a happy emotionally fulfilling week where you can take it easy finally so let me know, I'll post it. I, I'm, I'm sure I have it saved. Okay, so let's take another affirmation for the ones who are not going to be seeing the first reading. So Spirit, what's the affirmation for my Aries gang? Faith. Okay, so the affirmation here you have is, I have faith in the support of the universe. Absolutely. Um, Aries, your affirmation card says faith. Faith is a... S once again, faith is such a powerful quality that it can move mountains. Angel wisdom reminds you, however, not to have blind faith in situations. Use common sense and discernment and never give your power to another. Instead, put your faith in yourself and your higher powers. Pray with integrity from your still wise center and know that your request will be granted. Act as if it's already manifested. This is faith. Your angel guidance is to increase your faith in the infinite. So Aries, you are very, very protected and the universe is bringing you a lot of goodies, it seems. And I do see in the middle of the week, some people wanting to uh, get into your space and maybe want a piece of that pie or something. But I'm not really worried because I don't see you really like jumping in or anything. You're, you, you are sensible. You've already shown me you're going to take a step back and think about it and go into hermit mode. So, well, that's the way it goes. Next time, for next time now, I have to sign off. Love and light. Take care. Namaste, Aries.